everyone. I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. And today we're going to be doing our Friday night pizza video. And it's actually Saturday evening, but we uh, had something came up last night. We couldn't do it, so we're doing it tonight for you. And uh, today's pizza is going to be a cherry cheesecake pizza. And the uh, page that we got the uh, recipe from, the lady said that she had problems with it two or three times trying to make it. And so uh, hopefully it's going to turn out for us. We're going to try it anyway. Mm -hmm. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're going to be using, we used these uh, pizza crust a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And this is Mama Mary's. And we actually like these pizza crust. So we're going to be using them again this time. And hopefully it all turn out good for us. We will put the recipe in the description below for it. Uh, Marie, I need those scissors right over there, please. Okay. These uh, pizzas, they do seal them up. I mean, they're sealed airtight. So, and I should have paid open before we started the video, but that's okay. We'll get it right now. Marie is uh, feeling a little bit better today, so she's going to help me some on this. And it looks like a it looks easy to make, but for some reason, you know, it's just a little tricky on getting it cooked. Okay, these come with two crusts. We're only going to be using one crust. I've already got the bottom of the pizza pan. Uh, we actually greased it with butter. So put that right there in the middle. This crust looks good. It didn't have any cracks on it, Marie. This is about one tablespoon of sugar, and I'm just going to lightly sprinkle it all over the top of the crust here. I guess that helps make the crust feel a little sweeter. And that's what we need, don't we, Marie? Mm -hmm. It's a good sweet crust. <laughs> okay. If I was any sweeter, I'd melt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's true. Okay. I can hear our favorite dog next door out there just a barking away. So we'll let him continue to bark. <laughs> Hopefully it won't interfere with the video too much. We'll put this crust to the side and we will seal it up and we'll use this on our next pizza that we make. Okay, Marie, now we got to mix up uh, the next ingredient is cream cheese. And Marie's already got this softened, and she's already got it cut into little chunks. And so we'll just throw it right in there. Okay, that went good. Then we need, uh, this is one teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. Add it right to it. Not very much vanilla flavoring. And one teaspoon of lemon juice. And one egg. And then the last ingredient, this is one third cup of sugar. Maria, is that going to be enough to fill this pie up? Uh, it, according <laughs> to her recipe, it's supposed to be, but you know how that goes sometimes. When you uh, normally make a cream cheese pie, you usually t use two of these, don't you? Well, Just one? one? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not a cook, so I don't know. <laughs> but we're making this together. You want to mix it, Marie, you want me to? Go ahead, Karen. You're doing a fine job.
Okay, now on the cream cheese mixture, if you look down in there closely, you can see there's still a few little clumps in there. You want to keep mixing it until you can get it as smooth as you can get it. Uh, it may take several minutes to get it mixed up, but let me keep on mixing. took over the mix and because Calvin didn't quite have it <laughs> done good enough. <laughs> and Marie said I didn't have it creamy enough. <laughs> that's okay. That's the reason she's the cook and I'm the helper. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do next, we're going to take the uh, pizza crust and we're going to put this mixture on here and try to get it as even as we can. put it all in the middle and spread it out hope it's enough to fill it up okay that looks good don't it Marie? smells even good and I'm just going to push it up to the edges and uh, this side of the pizza crust is a little bit thicker over here. Hopefully it's going to work out for us. Okay, I've got it smoothed out all the way around right up to the edges. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I've already got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to put this in the oven and let it cook for approximately 25 minutes. And uh, the cream cheese is supposed to set up during that time. And if it starts to brown too much, we'll have to take it out. So we'll keep an eye on it. So let me put this in the oven right now. Is that okay, Marie? It looks good. Is it level enough? I think so. Okay, here we go. I believe you can make a cake now. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Light. Turn the light on. The oven's very hot, but we'll let that cook for 25 minutes. And while it's cooking, we can stay here and talk to the people for 25 minutes. <laughs> That's okay. I think I'm going to wash your dishes up. <laughs> we won't make them suffer. <laughs> what we'll do for 25 minutes, we've got some other chores that we need to do. And as soon as this is done, we'll be back with you. <laughs> it's going to make a real good dessert pizza. Yeah. We're having hot dogs and chili and dessert pizza. What a combination. That's a good combination. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's been cooking for a full 25 minutes. And I looked at it just a second ago. It's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out here as soon as it beeps. There it is. Get that turned off. See how it's going to look. I think it looks real good. How about you, Marie? I think it does. There it's coming. Okay, I like that color on it. That's real nice. Okay, I when I was doing the recipe, I didn't read the instructions very good. And it says that after you cook it for 25 minutes, to let it cool for 30 minutes before you put the cherries on. So that means we still got 30 more minutes, Marie, before we can get a piece of it. 
<laughs> can we handle that? <laughs> I think we can. Okay, well, I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay. Our pizza has come out of the oven, and it's got to cool for 30 minutes before we put the cherries on it. Okay, everyone, we're back. We uh, have let this cool for just a little over 30 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and try to cut it in this pan. But now I'm going to go ahead and put the cherry pie filling on top of the pizza. I meant to say the uh, pizza with the cream cheese on it sure did smell good and the color is beautiful on it. I hope it tastes as half as good as it end up looking. What do you think about it, Marita? I think it was going to taste good. Okay. I called her Marita. That's <laughs> a, her little nickname that I have for her. I think that may be the first time I've ever done that on camera. Uh -huh. Cream cheese and cherries, what could not taste good? I'm telling you, mm -hmm. that looks good, don't it, Marie? Mm -hmm. I should have had you spreading this out, though, because you are much better at this than I am. Marie's been having just a little bit of pain today. Uh, she got up this morning, she was feeling pretty good, but her pain's been bothering her some more this evening, so I'm trying to take a little stress off of her as much as I can. How's that look, Marie? I think you did a great job. I'm going to go ahead and bring the cherries. When I've seen this recipe, I thought that we would enjoy it. Yeah, Marie found this on, uh, was it on Pinterest or somewhere like that? Yeah. Okay, Marie. How's that look? It looks good, Calvin. <laughs> this is going to make a good pizza. It's a dessert pizza but it's still gonna be good for tonight. So let me try to cut a small piece out of here. If I cut in this pan, I'm gonna use this knife and still using the, the pizza cutter. And I'm not sure how good that's gonna work, but we're gonna find out, aren't we? Okay, so there's a piece of the uh, cherry cheesecake pizza. And who gets to taste it first, Marie? You want to? You. Me? Yeah. You think I can pick it up and taste it? Yeah. I got some on my finger. Mmm. 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 <laughs> That's very good. Let me get one more bite because I want to get another cherry. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's very good. It held together good. The uh, cheesecake in it tastes good. Mm. And the cherries are good. I really like that. Which one do you like the best, the apple one we made or this one? I got cherry all over my hand. <laughs> oh, uh, mm. Well, which one do I like best? Well, cherry cheesecake is my favorite. Mm -hmm. And so I definitely like this one, but that apple pizza that we made was real good too. So I like it too. So. That's a hard question to answer. Mm -hmm. I like them both. The instructions did say that any of the pizza that you don't eat right now, to put the uh, what's left over, to put it in the refrigerator and keep it cool. So I think, to be honest with you, that after this gets real good and cold, mm -hmm. it'll probably be even better then than it is now. Mm 
but I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's good. Not too hard to make. Uh, it took longer than I thought it was going to make because I didn't realize we were going to have to let it cool for 30 minutes. So it only took about maybe 10 minutes or so to mix it up and make it. And it cooked for 25 minutes and then it had to cool for 30. So all together it took us uh, about an hour and 15 minutes to make the whole pizza, didn't it? Yeah. So time-wise it's a little more than you might want to spend. But it tastes good and I like it. It's uh, something different and we want to give it a try. So uh, if you do try this recipe, let us know what you think about it and let us know how you liked it, okay? And so Marie, anything you want to add to this? Yeah, do what you love and love what you do and y'all have a great weekend. Bye. Okay, we will see you on our next video. Thanks very much. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here